In my last video, I talked to you guys about how I'm working on saving money and not consuming so many things. Um, that includes social media and of course objects and things and clothing and all the stuff that I really love buying. So I wanted to talk about stress shopping because this past year has been really stressful and I think even without all the things happening over the past year, we're all under stress. and. One way of coping with that stress for a lot of people is shopping. This is something that I've been working on for I'd say like two years now, but over the past year I'd say I've gotten pretty good at it. So I wanted to talk to you guys about the ways that I'm trying to keep this going so I can reach my goals. So the first thing that I want to recognize is like noticing when you go onto websites or onto apps, click on emails, um, even when you're watching videos, like noticing when you are looking at things. Now, this is stuff that you weren't really thinking about buying. I think it's different when you have a list of things in your head or you write things down that you plan on purchasing. So you're constantly on that, I like to call hunt. Um, it's very exciting. Um, and it does take a while to find these things, you know, that you may have in mind, but this is more when you are kind of convinced into wanting something. And I think that's the difficult part about making content on YouTube because we do talk about products and I really have found the balance with consuming content and watching people that I enjoy and just enjoying their personality and what they have to say and not necessarily going into the video like looking for things to buy. So that's one thing that I think we should like recognize um, when we do these things, how often we're doing it because um, that's just the first step. So what I've done to make sure that I don't keep going back to this habit of looking at stuff is create an activity menu. And this has to do with dopamine and chemicals in your brain. And that is because when we're looking at stuff, we get excited and the idea of having a package come in the mail is very exciting. Um, I do live quite close to the road and I can see the FedEx trucks and the UPS trucks drive by and I get excited when I see them and then I get a little sad when I know that I don't have a package on the way. And especially after the holidays when we're either buying things for ourselves or for family members or friends, um, we're so used to having packages delivered so all of a sudden that is taken away and we're not looking forward to things. Well, at least I'm not looking forward to anything coming in the mail anytime soon. So that's a big change that I want to recognize. I think it's normal and it happens to a lot of people when they realize like, oh, nothing is coming in the mail. That is for someone else. So I wrote down some things that I like to do that do bring me joy and I sometimes forget that these things bring me joy. So the first thing on my list is doing my makeup, of course. I did my makeup today. I do have some places to go, but I really wasn't sure if I wanted to even do a full makeup look. But I decided to go for it and here I am filming this video. I just got some inspiration. The next thing on my list is painting my nails. Now this is something that I've definitely gone in and out of phases of doing. It used to be really tedious in my head, but as I've mentioned in my last video, I'm trying to romanticize my life. So I'm looking at these things in a different perspective as in me time, like some time for me to just sit down and be present. These can be things that you don't do all the time, like sewing for instance. Um, that's one thing that I enjoy, but it is quite stressful. So it is something that I could do, but it's not like my main source of joy, I'd say. Next is take a bath. Again, some quiet time, relaxation, um, a time to put on a show or a podcast or meditate. And it's more about the routine of doing it and creating an atmosphere so you're not focused on looking at things. Then I have looking for recipes, which is actually something that I really enjoy. I enjoy going on Pinterest and like just looking at ways to make your day-to-day -day life more exciting. So if you get into a rut of like making the same food all the time, I think this is a great way to have more fun without constantly like looking for things. You may have to go and get different ingredients, but you're shopping for food and we need food. So I think that this is a really fun way to like feel like we're getting stuff 
but not really. Next up is organizing and decluttering. And this can seem a bit weird for people that don't like doing it, but I personally like doing it. And I really um, enjoy just like going through my stuff, seeing what I have, because I think that when things are hidden away and we don't see what we have, this is when we come up with the fabulous idea of like looking for more stuff. And this is why stores like TJ Maxx and Marshalls and stores like that or stores that have a bunch of different things like Target, Walmart are all pretty dangerous because say we go in for one thing, we all know like we end up circling the whole store and then we come out with more stuff. So this is one thing that I've also gotten really good at and this is one of my strategies for not doing so much impulse shopping and that is going to grocery stores specifically. However, there are some things that I do need to purchase at a Target or a Walmart that I cannot find at regular grocery stores. So then I will go and just try to have self-control and say to myself that I'm fine and that is one phrase that I keep saying in my head every single time I catch myself like getting um, a little too into the shopping mentality and the hunt for stuff is just thinking like I'm fine I have plenty of makeup I have clothes and it's fine if I'm wearing the same four shirts which honestly I've been doing for the past couple weeks this is one of them so that is one phrase that I keep telling myself and it's helping a lot the next thing I want to do is get into shows and movies again and I used to watch a lot of shows and not so much films but really carving out time to do these things because I would often feel like I had no time to do these things. Movies are a bit harder because I want to watch them with my husband and they are longer but I am making it a mission to make it happen, spend more quality time and make sure that I'm not on my phone scrolling at things so that means I want to be really invested and of course we're gonna glance at our phone here and there um don't make that such a big deal i try not to and the last thing i wrote down is swatching makeup now this is something that i haven't done in a while but i do get really excited about it so i will once in a while go to my makeup collection and just start pulling stuff out this also goes into the organizing and decluttering and again you get to see what you have and i do swatches on my arms and like sometimes i just end up with glitter everywhere and i feel like i'm enveloped in my makeup so this is a really good one if you love makeup like I do. My collection is so much smaller than it was years ago because I've stopped buying a lot of it. I keep glancing because my desk is over there, my vanity. I also want to touch on the idea that just because we like something doesn't mean we have to buy everything of that thing. For example, I've mentioned that I love Harry Potter and I kind of fell into a hole of wanting to get all the subscription boxes and collect all this stuff and all the wands and I had to really like tell myself you don't need all of it and there are other things that uh, you want, say for instance like bigger things like furniture and stuff like that and I won't really be using these small things but say for instance a chair, like a desk chair I recently got, um, I really needed that and I haven't had my own computer desk chair in years and with making YouTube videos, I really need to take care of my body and my hands and my wrists. So that was something that I decided to put my money into that has been on my list and it just took me a while to buy. So I still think that, you know, buying things that you have in the back of your head is fine. But I think it's really taking the time to figure out what you want to invest in and doing your research, of course, is really important. I know for a lot of us, me included, I used to impulse shop so, so bad. it's like embarrassing to think about. And if you do impulse shop, take it home, keep the receipt, kind of sit with it if you have to. I don't have any shame in returning something if I change my mind, um, especially now some stores, they don't even let you try stuff on, so you kind of have to take it home. Um, but yeah, like really think about what you buy and what you bought. And with browsing at things, I found that I would get stressed because it wasn't even like I was on this website looking for something specifically. I was just looking to see if I would like something like Sephora, for instance, I returned something and I got a gift card. And just knowing that I had this gift card, I was on the website um, looking at stuff just to see if I needed anything, but I didn't. So therefore I was just in this weird limbo of like looking at things but it wasn't actually bringing me joy so it's those moments that i need to like take a step back 
and find something to do with myself because that's really it. If we find that we have a lot of time on our hands, we get really unsatisfied and I've noticed this from experience. So that is why I try to keep myself busy and that is the one lesson that I learned from taking my break on YouTube is that I had too much time and I was doing these things and I wasn't fulfilled. So might as well just try new things even. So that is all I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope you're having a magical day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.